Do you know what it was like talking Emily through an operation over the phone? <laughs> you poor baby. I mean, tell me all about it. Uh, it's easy for you. You just have to lie there. You did all the work. Oh, okay, two lovebirds. How you feeling? Uh, I've been flayed. Yeah. What's going on with your work? Dr. Rosenthal had an emergency surgery. Since Robin is stable, they're going to take the most critical first. It's okay. I, I'm in no hurry to have another operation. Search and rescue dogs coming in from Albany. The crew's inside, pulling out as many people as they can. Right now, nobody goes back inside. I'm, I'm your baby's father. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth, you've been traumatized. I don't, I don't really this think you know what you're mistake. saying. This is not a mistake. I've known since I got the results back. is too unstable for a gunfight. Give me the briefcase and walk away. Now! Get away, Sonny! Sonny, he's getting right, away! Right, forget him! Listen to me. Forget him. We got each other, that's all that matters. Come on. Okay. Clearly, when Emily got that bullet out, she also removed your common sense. And no, I'm conscious and well, relatively pain-free right now. I'd like to stay that way for a while. You know, I think I'll go into the ER where patients are actually grateful for professional care. You deal with her. Yay, yay. You need more surgery. Eventually. You were shot point blank. Operated on with no anesthesia, sewn up with fishing line and duct tape. If you think I'm gonna let something happen to you now, you don't know me at all. No, really. <laughs> Here it comes. The man does something amazing and heroic, and suddenly he thinks he knows everything. This is only one way to shut you up, isn't it? Mm. Brother? Yeah, he went back inside. Wow, who's with Lulu? Damn, I didn't want to go in there. There's been another collapse inside. What do you mean? No, 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 forget it. I can, I can go, I can help. None of us can go back inside, so we know what to do. But half of my family is in there. Hey, look, and the rest are out here, all right? You got nothing else to prove, right? Just, you've done all you can, just take care of your beautiful lady and go back to your kid in one piece. All right? <laughs> Wait, no, wait, 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 there was this girl, she, um, she's wearing a, a blue dress and a diamond ring. Keep looking. No, 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 she was standing right beside me. No, okay, her name is Lou Lula. When we find no, her, Lou, we'll bring her to her. No, oh, I have to find her right now. I promise. No, no, wait, please, let me pass. No, you, you have to, we have to. 
to find her, please! Were you afraid for the baby? No. Or was no, it because no, of my work? No. You didn't want the child in danger? What? No, is Jason, that it? I know that you would never let anything bad happen to our then, child. Then why? You weren't here, remember? You had to leave town because you'd beat up Rick and I got the results back and by the time I had a chance to look at them, Sonny was standing right there and he asked me who the father was and I told him it was who I expected. I, I meant you. Then why, why not just say it? Because Sonny started talking about Lucky being the father and I realized that he had jumped to the wrong conclusion. So you just let Sonny and everyone else believe? I didn't have a plan, okay, Jason? I had just found out that I was carrying your child. And Sonny kept saying how it was a good thing that you weren't the father because now you wouldn't be torn in two and you wouldn't, wouldn't have to worry about your choices harming this kid. So you kept it a secret from me. Where's Monica? She wanted to check on your test results. Do you want me to call someone? Mm, okay. Did she tell you that the hostage situation's over? Nicholas and Emily are okay. Oh, thank God. Was Emily hurt? Just some cuts and bruises. I think you got the worst of it. And Robin. She was so brave. And Lulu, she is a Lulu. <laughs> she doesn't have very much sense, but she's as bold as they come. Anybody seen Jason? The night I found out I was going to call and leave you a message, but then I realized it was something that I needed to do face to face. Carly got to me first. And she jumped to the same conclusion as Sunny. When you came to see me, were you... Were you to tell me the baby was mine? I wanted to. But you already thought that Lucky was the father. And you said it was for the best. Because I thought you wanted Lucky to be the I father. I didn't know what I wanted. I thought I had lost Lucky forever. I... The man I love, the man I married, he would never lie to me, he would never cheat on me, he would never sleep with another woman in my own bed. I didn't know who he was anymore, but you're the Jason that I have always known. You were my, my safe place, and I needed you, and we made a baby together, and I will never regret that. But this is not something that either one of us intended to happen, and I honestly believe for everyone's sake, that it would be better if you never knew. If you thought you were protecting the baby. No, I'm angry, but I'm not going to judge you because it's exactly what Carly and I did for Michael. But if you thought you were protecting me from wanting to take care of you or loving my own child, that just doesn't even make any sense. I, th I thought you knew me better than that. Nobody's hey, seen hey, them, Nicholas. Okay. Not Lulu or Elizabeth. I know, I know. There is debris no, everywhere. People there. are Don't buried on a rubble. Don't go there. They're fine. You have to believe that. You were knocked unconscious and you complained of headaches. I know. I think I might have a concussion. Oh. Just because you performed ad hoc surgery on Dr. Scorpio doesn't qualify you to self-diagnose. I want you to go over to GH, check yourself in so we can get you under observation. I'll make sure, I'll make sure she goes there. Is there any word on my father? 
Dr. Quartermain was in surgery and uh, is in ICU, the last I checked. I want to go see him. Okay, come here. Emily, uh -huh. the work you did on Dr. Scorpio was um, exemplary. You have quite a future as a surgeon. Just wipe this for you. No, no, those are for the hostages. Then it's mine, and I'm giving it to you. Here. I really wish you would have stayed home. I'm not leaving. No, it sounds right. Maybe you should go home. Here's Christine and Molly. It's dangerous out Christine here. Christine and Molly are fine. They are fast asleep in bed. I was there. If I collapse, there's a medical team right in the alley there. There's even a shrink, Rick. Okay, perfect. Well, here's a better idea. Why don't you go talk to Lainey the Shrink about your compulsion to want to control things and you push yourself beyond Why your reserves and then you, you collapse you again. Go help somebody else. We're staying. Sam's waiting for Jason. And I'm waiting for Sonny. I wonder if you'd be so cavalier and put your health in real fear and if it was me in there instead of my brother, huh? I don't know. That's hard to say. You would actually have to have been one of those hostages, so otherwise I wouldn't know how I'd feel about that. Can you two please just give it a rest now? About this tall. Sorry, buddy. We're mostly recovering bodies right now. Are you a hostage? No, I'm a father. I'm a father. Since the last collapse, no one's been called for help. Lola! Let's go. Lola! 